Hi, my name is Shantae and welcome to another video. Welcome if this is your first time here and thank you if you are coming back. But I just wanted to get on here and share a couple of thoughts that was going through my mind and we're going to get into the word, right? It's in Jeremiah. Jeremiah, start in, in verse 23 and here the Lord is talking about false prophets and it reads, I did not send these prophets, yet they have run with their message, their message. I did not speak to them. This is the Lord saying, talking about false prophets. I did not speak to them, yet they have prophesied. But if they had stood in my council, they would have proclaimed my words to my people and would have turned them from their evil ways. That's the scripture I want to focus on. And would have turned them from their evil ways. Now, this is Old Testament here. And here we have the Lord talking about had the prophets been in his council, they would have spoken his words and the people would have turned from their evil ways. What are we talking about here? We're talking about repentance. We're talking about not sitting in sin, not standing in sin. We're talking about clearly there is something that God expects from his people if we are his children, it, it is for us to turn from our evil ways. And this is why um, I have an issue or concern, and anybody can repent, even pastors, when they only want to talk about prosperity, when they don't want to talk about sin, when they get on major platforms and they don't even want to name and call out what sin is. And this is something that people need to hear from time to time. So they can repent. We're not supposed to be staying in sin if we call ourselves believers. I even want to take it back to take it to um, Luke. And we know that John the Baptist prepared the way before Jesus came. But even he says in Luke chapter three, verse eight, produce fruit in keeping with repentance. New Testament, produce fruit in keeping with repentance. We cannot shy away from the word repentance. I it's almost like I wish I can say I could just believe in God and do what I want to do, but I can't even say that because doing what I wanted to do didn't do anything for me but damage me. So I can't even say that. I can't even say that. So clearly if my way didn't work, I, I want to try God's way. Like, there was a time I was really going through something major, like with my family members, major concerning my grandmother. And, and it was like war. It was like war. And I remember during that time, a lot of horrible things were said on both ends. I'm talking about and including me. Me being no excuse, but overly sensitive when it comes to my grandmother. Me stopping people for trying to take advantage of her. She was like a mother to me. And I, whew, man, but let me tell you. And in that moment, I didn't care. It was like the same way I could be about my child. It's like, uh, I could uh, not care and let anger get the best of me. But I will never forget. And, you know, if you've been following me, you know that my grandmother just died. Maybe about a week ago, like I fasted and God clearly, clearly told me to apologize to her. It, it doesn't matter. And it just hit me. It just struck me like, oof. 
oof. Oof, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, I, I want to be right with him. And, and, and I did exactly what he told me to do. It's up to her to receive it or not, but I did it. You know, I did it and I wish those things didn't happen, but they did. But they did. But I just thank God for growth in my heart because what it showed me was I'm at a level where it's like I was sincere in my apology. I, I truly was. It doesn't matter if I, I was right about this. I was right about that. Like, no. Like, I, I really want to live a life where nobody's, like, holding anything, like, against me if I can help it. But I like the fact that I wasn't comfortable and I didn't feel, I just knew it was right. And that only comes from being in the word and, and I'm really trying to do this thing. I didn't feel like, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, the Lord, he'll forgive me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that type of attitude. What I'm thankful for is sometimes God has a way of showing you your growth. I, and, and I saw someone not to, as a matter of fact, at my grandmother's funeral, you know what I'm saying, who also I broke bread, bread with this person after the fact. And... Again, knowing how this person talks about me behind my back, I show her nothing but love. And I sincerely, sincerely feel love for her. I can't control someone else's heart, but I, I just pray for her. But I thank God that I've matured to the point that, and trust me, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not there yet. And I may never be. But I thank God because God will have a way of showing you your growth. But I wish, I it, it, no, just like I said, I can't say I wish I could just do what I want to do because those things just brought hurt. They brought pain. I still had a void. I still had those things to deal with. So my way did not work. But the Lord says, forgive. The Lord says, love your enemies. Look, I don't want to harbor, harbor those things in my heart. Like the Bible says, even demons believe in God. So we always have to remember if demons even believe in God, then how are we going to be different than demons? We can't just be believers. There has to be action. There has to be fruit behind our belief. Change. Allowing God to change and mold us and shape us. To be more like him. But see, going back to the false prophets, another thing I want to make a comment on real quick. If it's all about prosperity, prosperity and getting things and living well what about our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted in other countries who are in hiding you could say what you want to say about america but i'm happy i have the freedom to go to church here do you think one of our brothers and sisters who are hiding right now who will lose their life for having a bible on them do you think if they just pray right now, oh, if I just believe and I'll have my, be I'll have my best life right now and everything will be okay? Do we really do think that's the thing that is on their mind as they're being persecuted? It cannot be all about prosperity. They're not thinking about material things. <laughs> They're thinking about preserving their lives for their beliefs. So this is why I tell people, sometimes you can find the answer. You can find the answer for yourself. You don't always have to ask people. All you have to do is read the word of God and the answer is there. If you want to know what a false prophet looks like, Right here in the word, God will make it clear and then you will know if this is a person you should be following, is this a person you should be listening to, is this a church that you should join? 
but didn't want to be on here too long. I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters to get into the word. God is amazing, amazing. Um, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine. Let you keep your light burning. Be encouraged until next time. Be blessed.